Update requires restart is the bane of our existence. You want to customize your gun? There's an ad to go pre-order the game. Do you want to select an operator? Ah, there's an ad to go pre-order the game. I don't know why it even bothers differentiating small maps. All the maps on this beta are small. The big claim to fame for this game, the justification they give for it existing. Now there's this thing called Omni Movement, and y'all have probably seen it. So look at this. I can sprint left or to the right i can split sprint to my left i can sprint backwards slide to the left slide to the right backwards also the connection in the beta is kind of eggs Ooh, i can dive backwards i can dive to the left and it just makes it sweaty as nuts because the maps are all designed to promote close quarters combat they said it's a lower time to kill actually playing the game i do not believe it is a it is a lower time to kill than usual. If it's harder to hit a target, you should have to hit them less to win, in my opinion. Like, that's called balance. <laughs> what the heck? And they brought back the bunny hop and bull crap. <laughs> if y'all are seeing lag, it's not the stream. It is genuinely the game. Dude, Warzone is going to be awful with all this movement. It's going to be horrendous. I already don't like don't like Warzone anyway. I can't imagine how miserable it's going to be. Come on, base. Oh, the maps are not as bad as the last couple of COD games. They're not all honeycomb-like maps anymore. It's like they're allergic to large open spaces. This map is kind of the one exception. Every other map, you are in interconnected rooms and hallways at all times, and that's it. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> This with your emotes. Yep, yep, yep. Get them, get them. Uh, uh. I don't hate this as much as I thought I would. There's just some design choices that kind of stack on top of each other that make it a, a not as fun experience. The movement forces you to learn it very well so that you can compete. It's not enough to just take cover, point and shoot anymore. The maps are smaller. You're almost forced to be up in people's faces, meaning you have to learn the movement. And then skill-based matchmaking. You're strategically placed into matches uh, to try to find the perfect ratio of of winning and losing to try to keep someone playing the game for longer. It's not just, we'll put them in, in matches of similar skill level. No, that's not what skill-based matchmaking is. Outside of a ranked mode, there's really no reason for that anyway. All right, so this is basically HVT. You've got each, each team has one person that you have to kill. And he's got a little extra health. Uh-oh. And this is another one, like, see, there's a there's an open lane, and even out here, but most of the action happens in the middle of the map, which kind of sucks. Now, I'm the HVT. All right, he's on my map, on my radar. <laughs> Pick me up. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not good, boys. So I kind of need to camp a bit being the HVT. Dead. There's a dude right out here. There's two of them. Ah. Oh. So it's a game like this that makes for good clips. It says more about the target audience of COD these days than anything else. Not so much people who... Mm. Not so much people who enjoy semi-realistic mil sims. That ain't the target audience anymore. Hello there. Oh. No. Oh. Yes. I mean, I'm rocking it, dude. Where'd you go? He's still out there. There he is. All right. And UAV, go. There's two of them. There's two of them over here. There's one. Oh, that's their whole team. Whoops. It's me. I'm the HVT. Sit down. You know what? Let's have a clash of kings, shall we? Let's take the fight straight to their HVT. No sense in hiding on other sides of the map. Oh, here they come. They're here. What? Somebody's grenade. Well done, boys. Well done. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's chaos. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's okay, we won. Oh, this guy paid $20, $30 for that. That's very cool. It's a glorified advertisement is really what it is. Like, it's trying to sell the Vault Edition at every waking moment. Hey, I'm number two. Like, there's operators you can get if you pre-order the Vault Edition and weapons, and you'll see people running around with it. Yeah, so the campaign looks like it's going to be during the Gulf War or something in the 90s. Color me intrigued. I just was so kind of annoyed with all the movement stuff, so I went and booted up X Defiant instead. And I had a good time. I genuinely had a good time on X Defiant. I know he's out here. Oh, hi. It felt like playing mid to late 2000s COD. The failures of X Defiant, because it has such a low player count, is just proving skill-based matchmaking right. Like, the whole point of skill-based is to try to... Uh, 
basically get players to take on a gambling mentality and X Defiant, whoa, they just spawned right there. Because games like COD still have people play like it's, there's no tomorrow. There's things to like about the game. It's just, we're clearly not, like us casual gamers that were COD fans once upon a time, we're just clearly not in the target audience anymore. And there's a lot of evidence to suggest that just based on this beta alone. And I plan to point that out in my video. So think of it, it's not so much a review of Black Ops 6. It's more of just me pointing out that, you know, hey, why do we even bother crying about the differences in COD anymore? Like, oh, it's not like the old games. Well, of course not, because the, the old gamers are not the target audience anymore. They don't care what we liked 15 years ago. They care what you know, the kiddos like now. It's movement, it's battle royales, it's making clips, it's skill-based matchmaking that they're vulnerable to. Like that's, that's what they care about now. I got you, brother. Not like the face he made when I did that. In the background of this game that really sounds like an iPhone notification that I keep thinking is me. Uh-oh. Eat nade, buddy. Get somebody. <laughs> Being able to sprint left and right and backwards, I actually like that. It feels good to me. I think it removes some of the risk reward that should be there with sprinting, but that doesn't ruin it for me. It gives a new way to play. It's the sliding and diving that drives me nuts. Yeah, see that unpopular opinion, take the jump button out of Call of Duty completely. Just take it out. I've never liked the ability of jumping in COD and I wish that it wasn't there. But now it's just part of the meta is learning how to dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge and bunny hop. One thing I like about X Defiant is it punishes you for abusing the jump button. Hey, I'm number three. Let's go, baby. My problems with this game aren't because I suck. Yeah, like I'm, I'm doing pretty decent. I'm not doing bad so far. Once that skill base kicks in, maybe not. <laughs> and this jackal's a little OP. I like it though. I, I wouldn't want them to nerf it. Sucks at range, which is a good trade-off because it's really good at close quarters. That's a sniper to my left. Get him! Get him! Yes! You ready? Cooking something for you. Oh, I think they already got him. <laughs> oh, good aim, dog. Hasn't shown any interest in continuing. Oh my god, that's their whole team. I still think they make a good matchup and there could still be a... Thanks, buddy. I got a knife to the clavicle, but we're good. And now we've graduated again from boots on the ground to ice skates on the ground. So I promise you, this ain't boots on the ground. Jesus. I just, I hate the size of these maps. There's, they're all way too small. You know, maybe the full release will have big, will have bigger maps. We'll see. I like maps like Wasteland on MW2. That and Crash. I feel like COD is now aimed towards people who only play COD. If you're someone who can afford to buy multiple games, then it's not for you. It's for the kids who get one game to play to the death and a rival to Fortnite V-Bug purchases in COD. That's a good way to put it. Call of Duty is constantly competing for players' time, like with FOMO events. I think they do a decent job with their live service. Like, they have new content and playlists rotate in and out and stuff. But, yeah, there's not really anything there anymore to be like, hey, you should play Call of Duty instead of blank. What? The, there's, there's more battle pass? There's more skins to choose from. That's about it. I was actually pretty excited about the MW2 remaster, the fan-made one. I think they got sent to cease and desist by Activision right before this beta came out. They didn't want it to cannibalize their audience. They wanted people to pay attention to Black Ops 6. If they actually came out with a full-fledged Modern Warfare 2 online multiplayer experience that was updated, modern, no skill-based, no loot boxes, no bunny hopping, no sliding, no diving, I'd play it. No mounting either. I know mounting is like the option opposite of the movement issue, but I use it because it's there, but I kind of wish it weren't. So I'll say something nice about the game. <laughs> oh my god. There's a cool feature right here. See, whenever you're peeking around, it uh, has you lean a little bit to your right. And the spawn flips are horrible in this beta. They are, oh, this is so bad. How many, how many does it take, man? <laughs> how many shots? The spawn flips are trash. Like, you can spawn you can spawn right here, right now, like I did. And in a matter of seconds, I could have people spawning behind me. Oh, it's above me. Whoops, I'm being a bad teammate. I'm not being helpful at all. Oh, they shut it down. All right, good on them. XM4 is a pretty good weapon. Oh, hi. Oh, he's laying down right there. I thought it was a body. Oh, that's weak. Oh, it already has. I think that that's also, that's another nice thing I could say. I think the body shield thing is cool. When you couple the body shield thing and assassinations with the movement, I think we we get a little bit... See, these two dudes just sitting here jumping around each other. 
You can't aim at torso height. You got to aim down at the floor. If they slide, you're just going to miss them. When you couple a higher time to kill, assassinations, and insta-kill button prompt if you get behind somebody, you're going to have a game eventually where people are just running in circles around each other, seeing who can get the button prompt first. Turok 2006, if y'all ever played multiplayer on that game, that's all it was. People pulled out their knives and ran in circles around each other. AVP kind of turned into that too. Sit down. Is that the same guy? <laughs> it might have been. It's just the maps are so small. The spawn flips are more significant when they happen. See, I just spawned right here where I'm standing, ran inside, and got killed by someone behind me. And it's happening again. Oh my God. What happened to map progression? You know, like you spawn on one side of the map and you work your way down, clearing out rooms, clearing out lanes. It's just not a thing anymore. Anyone could come attack you from any direction now. Come on in this room, idiot. You should have slid in here, buddy. But that doesn't mean that I wanted COD to be like that always. Dude. <laughs> but I would imagine aiming. Uh-oh. Yeah, see, I just got all the way behind that dude. If I'd have been better at aiming, I'd have killed him. And he had first shot on me, too. We're going in, boys. Ah. Uh, go, trophy, go. Come and get me, laddie. Good God, that slide. Oh my God, did y'all see that? Rush was my go-to. Some of the hit registration is a little questionable. Like I understand I'm not hitting every shot, but uh, it feels like not every shot's hitting like it should, or maybe the, the hit marker is a little delayed. Now as to whether that means the damage is delayed or just the hit marker, I don't know. COD timing is a phenomenon that needs to be studied. When you watch one direction and then you turn and someone immediately comes out of the direction you were just watching, it is a mystery of the cosmos. I see you. Where are you? Uh-oh. Yeah, see, how many times did I just hit that guy? I have a really hard time believing that it's a lower time to kill in this game. Like, I know all the articles say that and everyone says that, but I don't know if I buy it. 